Fishy, two days ago you were telling us you're not very happy with how the game against Bayi went. Today you were on the other side of the board for a quick draw against Anish. Uh, what happened there? Um, well, Anish um, caught me slightly off guard. So I say slightly, I'll explain in a second. Um, he tried to um, use a different move order to get me out of my C5 system. Um, but the funny thing was the way he tried to do it, uh, exactly during my game with Magnus in London, I had the same question. I was like, what if White does this? So I luckily I went home and checked. So while it was not very fresh in my head, at least I checked it recently. Um, and in fact, it's, it's a quite a decent pawn sag. You just play bishop c64 with all these ideas, queen d5, a5, sometimes even h5. So black has the two bishops and quite a big initiative. Um, I mean, at home, it looks like black is fine, but uh, of course at the board, uh, you need to know some details. But he had also checked it, and uh, I think if you start playing, it can be more dangerous for white than for black, because it's easier for white to miss something. Um, I thought king d7 was accurate, but um, maybe Anish is right that I could just take on c3 and pass along. You're always afraid these positions, if they don't turn out to be a draw immediately, then you can play them for a few moves. And uh, I thought king d7 is the most efficient, and uh, it seems to be so. Yesterday, uh, rest day, stormy day here in Vikansi. What did you get up to? Well, um, so in the in the morning at about 11 o'clock, I just decided, okay, I, I have to go for a walk anyway. So I went for a walk, and then I started jogging. Um, but basically, wind propelled jogging. So at some point, I was just propelled forward. And uh, but surprisingly, once um, I got past the roundabout. Um, it was quite calm, and we were both surprised. We, were, we had braced ourselves for really terrible weather, and it was quite calm and everything. And then by mid-afternoon, we even got the sun uh, coming out for a stretch and so on. So uh, I managed quite some rest. But um, in the morning, it looked dreadful. One final question. When you finish your games early like this, do you go home and follow the remaining games live, or do you just um, relax and catch up with the action in the evening? A bit of both. I mean, if there's something interesting happening, of course, your eyes will turn to it. You, you can always leave it running in the background and uh, try to do some work as well. Uh, probably I'll do a little bit of work for tomorrow's game while at the same time seeing what's happening today. You, you can't quite uh, uh, shut off the spectator in you, so uh, definitely I will see what's happening in the other games. Great. Thank you very much for your time and best of luck for tomorrow. Thanks.